and we're off. It's uh, 6, 6 15, um, 10 minutes after I wanted, so I'm pretty happy with that. It's um, going to be a fairly quiet trip down. It doesn't look like I've got any wind, so I'll be motoring most of the way, if not all the way. Um, it's going to be grey, overcast, no rain, which is, uh, which is really nice. So we're just leaving Yugi now. Um, the end of Sashima and I'll be turning right to get started uh, down there. There's a straight line all the way through to uh, the big bridge. straight off the mountain it's not pushing us on I was quite worried being here that we end up getting uh, pinned to the dock when we want to leave but hopefully that won't happen what will happen is that we'll just uh, we can push off and then just uh, drift backwards hopefully Well, as you can see in here, it's total chaos. It's miserable pouring with rain and windy outside, and it will be that way the rest of the day, all night tonight, all day tomorrow, all day tomorrow, all night tomorrow night, and uh, half into the next day, and then it'll be cloudy for um, a few hours, um, and then it'll be raining again, also with a strong northeasterly the entire time. So rather than go across to Nagahama, which was out that way, the northwest is this way, Nagahama is that way. Um, we're going to hug the coast on Yamaguchi Ken, which is along that way. So we'll have the wind kind of behind us and hopefully in a bit of a shelter from the mainland. Um, so we can still put the sails up, but um, have a much easier time of it. It should be relatively, the water should be relatively flat, hasn't had a time. The wind hasn't had a chance to uh, build up uh, any swell on it. So that's a good thing. Um, we've got a totally inexperienced crew tomorrow. Um, so yeah, not going out there in the extremes is a, is a very good idea with 25 knots plus two minutes swell. It's not the best way to, um, to start off a holiday. Um, so anyway, they're well aware of the weather and they're happy to sit inside and get wet, or well, stay dry and drink and eat um, rather than uh, uh, sit on the decks, sit on the decks with uh, the sunshine. So that's fine. Um, as to what we're going to do, yeah, so the first night we have an onsen, uh, second night we have an onsen, third night, it depends where we go, I'm not sure yet, it depends on the what way the winds end up blowing, um, whether we come, yeah, I just don't know. Um, onsen up there. Um, on the other side of that hill, it's still blowing 10 or 15 knots, so I'm pretty happy to be just tucked in behind here, very beautiful place. 10 to 12 meters of smooth, flat mud, um, good holding. So I'm very, very confident and I shall probably sleep very well tonight. 
As you can see, we're in a kind of a beautiful little place out here. Lots of islands dotted around, shipbuilding over there. And uh, I think it's Kumamatsu, just over there. I think it's Kumamatsu. Ah, lovely. Well, Tiare had all the sails up, was doing a little over 10 knots, um, under depowered. I had all the sails um, spilling loads and loads of wind. Um, I just didn't want to, um, yeah, it was, uh, she was still doing 10 plus knots and uh, there was very little happening in the wind in, in the sails. So I was, uh, I was pretty happy I did depower them. I actually saw the whites, uh, the white water in the distance and thought, right, um, I can either take them down or we can just um, take the power out of them, which is what I did in the end. And that was uh, probably the best thing to do because I didn't have to stress over it later on, trying to put them back up again um, when the wind died down slightly. Well, everybody's left the boat. Um, they've all gone home to nice warm hot showers, I'd imagine. Um, it was a good tour. The people are lovely. We had a um, we had a lot of fun on board. There's a lot of good food, a lot of talk, a lot of chat. And it was all good. We even managed to get the sails up on the first day. It was um, a lot of wind. It was probably more wind than I would have liked with a, with a group of guests on board. It was just. Um, yeah, we I put all the, we put all the sails up. I shook the reefs out of out of the mainsail, and um, then realised that we were coming past a headland, and the wind speed picked up substantially. And it was um, it's not too late to pull the sails down, but it's a lot of hard work, and you need to know what you're doing. So um, what I did instead was rather than um, have anybody make an accident and hurt themselves, um, I simply. Um, let the sails out as far as they can go, basically depowered it so there's very little wind on there's kind of the front edge is just luffing a little bit, just a little bit. Um, and then um, that certainly took a lot of the stress off the boat, but uh, we still ended up doing a little over 10 knots even in, even with that happening. Um, at least the waters were relatively calm or flattish, um, which was nice. And then we just shot off for a few hours uh, at 10 knots until we got into the lee of an island where I could. Um, uh, start, start dropping the sails down and then we motored into a lovely lovely little um, sheltered anchorage it's still blowing fairly rough um, around the corner but um, where we were it was nicely sheltered with an onsen on shore um, which is very nice they all enjoyed themselves the next day rather than go back out there um, and head off to Himejima which was the plan uh, it would have been a lovely sail down there but there's no way I could have come back um, the way the winds were forecast would have spent two three days down there waiting for the winds to subside and there's a typhoon coming up and I just cannot wait that long. So we um, instead of going to Himejima, we just um, hugged the coastline and sort of made our way slowly back. The winds were still there, but we're in the lee of the, of the shore, uh, lee of the wind. Um, sorry, there were some big mountains and um, the wind wasn't too bad coming off them. So we just put the front sail up and cruised along slowly at three knots, which sort of ate up the day. Then we could try some fishing. It wasn't raining. It was kind of how high cloud, which was nice, and then we got into um, um, forgot the name of it, but nice little place, lovely onsen, really nice onsen. Uh, but then the wind picked up, and it made for an uncomfortable night for everybody, uh, 
as we were against the wall and the wind was pushing the boat all over the place. Um, so the fender boards were really, uh, had their work cut out for them. And they've been eaten away a bit, which is fine, what they're for. So, it's 5.30. Early start, go and check the cut as to where we go out. It was, tide was flowing slowly, but the wind was coming in, so there was a bit of a wave there. Um, but I knew if we sort of left any longer, it would only get worse as the current um, increased and the wind increased. So we shot out of there. And, uh, and from there, it just turned to a really miserable day. <laughs> um, it was just big waves, wind on the nose. Thought I'd get behind an island for a bit of shelter, but that just ended up being um, uh, a wind acceleration. <laughs> so she was, she was dead flat, but she, well, kind of flat, but she was coming off the top of those, off the hills and down again at a very accelerated speed. We're doing, oh, there were 30 plus knot winds, gusts coming down easily, 35 knots, um, and a constant 25. It was just like, no, this is no good. So we didn't find any shelter there, but what we did is we went further around the island. I went further towards the end and thought I could then just um, hope you find some lee around there and then just head off to uh, our, final rank, our final anchorage. But um, again, um, the winds and the islands, they just changed all over the place. So by the time I stuck my head out, it was a full northeasterly. It was 20 knot plus constant. Um, so it was gassing up to 25 plus easily. And it was, um, yeah, just we couldn't sail and motoring was going nowhere. So back down along the length of that island um, and then sort of hug the side of the island and then shoot across the other side and dodge in amongst some small islands, trying to make some way towards the final anchorage. We finally got there, but it was both motors on, um, full power for the whole time. So sometimes you're only doing two knots, and other times you get up to three and a half knots. Um, the current wasn't helping either, uh, but we finally got there and just as we were putting the, um, the anchor down, um, it started raining and then it was, st it was still blowing, coming through gusts of, of 10 plus knots, um, which is fine, everybody just hunkered down and started drinking again and um, I think the night went alright. Kind of dragged at one stage but just let out some more anchor and that, um, that settled that down. Sorry, let, let out more anchor, let out some more anchor chain and that settled that down. And uh, yeah, the next morning, uh, it was just a short 40 minute uh, motor back to um, Hagen offshore port. And, uh, and now I have to wait for the rest of the day. Tomorrow I've got a break in the weather. So tomorrow morning at five o'clock, I'll be heading off and I'll be going around the west side of uh, Suoshima because I need to um, hit the currents going under the bridge right. And there's substantially less wind on that side of the island. Um, the other side, the east side of the island, I'll be getting uh, 10 knots straight away and then I'll be back up into 25 by lunchtime and I just, it's a waste of time doing that. So we will, um, yeah, we'll see how we go. Tomorrow night I should be halfway home. Yeehaw! Forgot what we were really after Together we came up with wild ideas We felt so alive, yeah, both look high Staring, smiling, blue, blue sky Cause hey, the weather's good today So why don't we go out to see and feel the colors There's oh, so much out to see and when you're here with me, this world seems so much smaller.